All right, today I'm doing a review on a, a Canon extension tube. This is the Canon extension tube, the EF25 uh, Mark II version. Um, the Mark II, or the uh, F25 is for um, more telephoto type lenses. There's a EF12, I believe it is, for um, more uh, wide angle lenses like uh, 50 and down. This is for everything above 50, uh, I believe is what Canon suggests. So. Um, notice there's no glass through here. All it is is uh, you got your pins here and metal backs and then the pins. Uh, for some reason this is $150. I have no uh, no reason, reason why it should cost that much with no optics in it. But um, that's how much it is new on B&H and other uh, sites. So what I did is I just went and bought it used on eBay. Uh, there was quite a few of them. I got this one for around uh, $50. So, if you're going to buy it, buy it used on eBay or something, or find it off Craigslist or something. But that's what it is. What, so, what does this allow you to do? So, uh, this is my macro lens. You don't have to necessarily have a macro lens. But all it allows you to do is to get closer focus. So, normally the closest focusing distance on this is like 11 inches. So, it allows you to get focus a little bit uh, closer so your subject will be a little bit bigger in frame. The um, reason I bought this is uh, I take a lot of pictures of bugs. And um, even with this, when you're taking, well, without this, you're taking pictures of these bugs, they're, they're still, they're tiny bugs, so they're still small in the frame. I'm just not really filling up the frame as much. So this will allow me to get a little bit closer, thus the bugs will be a little bit bigger um, and easier to manage. So the good thing about this, uh, if you're looking around for tubes, um, it, it has the pins in here, so you could still do autofocus and you could still do uh, change your aperture in these digital lenses. Um, you might have come across this for five bucks. Um, and this is an EF mount, and it's just basically the same thing. It has three different uh, levels you can unscrew and go for what you want here, but it doesn't have the pins in it. So uh, if I attach this on my lens and put it on my camera, I wouldn't be able to uh, adjust the aperture. And if you look at the aperture in there, it's wide open. So. All the shots would be at f2.8 if you put this on just with that. So, uh, if you just want to kind of go budget, maybe have an old lens, you get one of these. Uh, like, say, I, I got this off eBay, but um, this is a old Vivitar lens, a 35 mil or 135 millimeter Vivitar lens. So it has it's a M42 screw mount is the mounting system on here. So I bought an adapter. Uh, just an EF Canon adapter. You attach that, then you attach this, and then you attach it to your camera, and you have total adjustment of your f stops on there. So you see that. So uh, that that's another route to go. That that would be after you bought all this stuff. It would be about the same price as the 50 bucks probably as this. So I'll just end up going with this. Um, I recommend it for 50 bucks, not 150. It's, I wouldn't spend that much on it. So, um, nice thing to have in your bag for those situations where you want to get just a little bit closer with your focusing distance. Um, the other version, they got other uh, extension tubes like Kenco. They're kind of like this, but they have the digital uh, pins in them, and they're around $100. So they're a little bit more used or whatever. Um, but you've got the three sections. You might look at those, but. Uh, reason I didn't go with those is because I remember when the 6D came out. So if I switched cameras and I had the Kenco things, the Kenco um, adapters, a lot of people were having trouble with them working on their cameras. So I just decided to stick with the Canon brand name on this so it would avoid any of that. Uh, and it's only 50 bucks. It's not like I'm spending a lot on it. So uh, yeah, uh, check out my other reviews. I got plenty of stuff on Canon Pentax photography. Um, and uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.